Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Google Family Link. Now, Google Family Link is a free app that works both on iOS and Android devices to allow parents keep track of their children's activities on their devices. With this app, parents can monitor what their kids are doing on social media, websites and other apps. Now, before we start, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like this video, share it and hit that notification bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. Now, the first thing you're going to need is to have your device and your child's device with you. I already have my device and this is my child's device. So go ahead, download the Google Family Link app. I already have it downloaded, so you go right ahead and get it downloaded and open the app. So I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to open the app. Now, my Family Link is already open and the first thing I'm going to be asking you is who will be using this phone. Now, because this is my device and I am a parent, I'm going to be choosing the parent. So, I'm going to go ahead and click on the parent. So, they're going to ask you before we start, make sure the device you want to provide for your child is nearby. Just like I said before, you need to have your device and your child's device very close. So, I'm going to click on next. The next thing there says you're already a family manager. You already use this account to create and manage your family group and get access to Google services for families. Now, because I already have an account with Google, I'm just going to click on continue. So they're going to be asking you, does your child have a Google account? If your child has a Google account, click on yes. And if they don't, click on no. They're going to show you the steps on how you can create a Google account for your child. And that takes like 10 minutes to finish up. So if you have an account, click on yes. And if you don't, click on no and then they're going to tell you how to set up that account and then you're going to just continue with the steps so but in this case my child already has an account so i'm just going to click on yes so i've clicked on yes so they said get your child's device open settings for android devices go to google parental controls for chromebooks go to people parental controls follow the steps to set up parental controls tab done below when you are finished so i'm going to go to my child's device that's this device that's here my child's device and i'm going to do exactly what the instruction says here so now this is my child's device so i'm going to click on the parental controls and here it is the steps here they said is for you to set up parental control so read the steps there and then click on next now they're going to ask you to select your child's google account if your child already has a google account you should click on the one that you want your child's account to be linked to your own if not you can add or create for your child so because i already have an account here i'm going to click on the first one that's there i'm going to click on it so they said this account will be signed out for parental controls to work just in case you know your this account is, has been previously been used by you know an adult so i'm just going to click on continue okay um now that has loaded now they said your parents account now remember the account that you use to set up in your own that's the same account that's going to appear here so i'm going to click on next because my account is already there and they're going to ask you for your password so i'm going to type in my password okay now they're asking me to do a two-step verification to find out if it's actually me so because i know that it's me i'm going to be clicking on yes it's me and they're checking the account so just wait for that to load now after you have done that you're going to see about supervision so here you're going to see what parents can actually see and do in your child's device so they said parents can control which devices or apps their child signs into with their google account you know block or approve apps control location the miss screen time on supervised devices set filters of control on google chrome search play and youtube manage their google family group that you must have seen what you can do they're also going to show you what you the parents are not going to be able to do so they said parents can't remotely see what's on the child's screen you can't see your child's past searches or chrome browsing history you can't um, see or reset your child's google account password so these are the list of things that you can't actually do you know with this app so how to start and stop supervision so once the family link supervision is set up either a parent or a child can stop supervision at any time so just read everything that they have said there and then they're going to ask you for your child's password so okay so i agree okay so you can see there that it said activate profile manager so it said family link manager by proceeding your user your user will be managed by your admin which is a parent which will also be able to store associated data in addition to your personal data so just read that over there and then click on activate on your child's device so it's linking the accounts now as you can see okay it said your accounts are linked so they said next review the apps on 
um, your child's device and manage his settings and filters. So I'm going to click on next. Okay. So as you can see here, you can already see all the apps that are in your child's phone. So you can say I have um, the family link app, um, Galaxy Store, Galaxy Wearable, Gallery Image. So just click on more. So you say one moment. And it say manage filters and settings. Click on next. Now, after you must have done that, you will need to go back to you, the parent's device. This is my own device that is here. I'm not going to go back to the Google family. Now, after I must have done that, I'm just going to go back to my child's device. You can see here, it says, get your child's device. So, I've already done all of this, so I'm going to click on done. Now, once you're done, you can actually see your child's device in you, the parent's device. So, as you can see, I already have his settings over here. Um, I can schedule his screen time. I can view all his apps on his phone. I can see where he's logged on with his account. I can see that uh, he was last online today on his laptop, you know, because the same account is using on his laptop. So I really, I can see all of that. So if I wanted to know his location, I would just set it up so that whenever he's not in that location, you know, I will be notified. And then I can also set up his settings. So let's look at the apps that are on his phone. So I want to view all his apps. So let us look on view. All his apps. So as you can see here in the parent device, you can actually see all the apps that are in your child's phone. Just like you have the camera, Duolingo, Facebook, Galaxy Wearable. You can see everything that is literally on your child's device. So let's say for example, you don't want your child to use WhatsApp again. You can actually go to where WhatsApp is and then click on it. So this allow app here means that your child is allowed to use WhatsApp. So if you want him to use some particular thing on WhatsApp, so let's say for example, you don't want to use the microphone again, that means he won't be able to send voice recordings to his friends, you know, you don't want him to be able to send messages or however you want it, you can actually control permissions with it. So just go back. So if you don't want to use WhatsApp at all, you can just turn it off and then it will say change requested and that means that WhatsApp is no longer on your child's device. So I want him to use WhatsApp, so I'm going to click on WhatsApp. But what if you actually want him to use WhatsApp for like two hours a day or three hours a day? What do you do? You can simply just go back. You can see this, this sign that looks like an hourglass sign, right? You can just click on it and then you see the set limit here. You can only set minutes so for WhatsApp manager. So that means that if you want him to use WhatsApp for just 30 minutes a day, you can actually set it. So let's say for example, you want him to use WhatsApp for like two hours 55 minutes let's say for example you can click on save and it will say limit set for whatsapp messenger so how about for zenda you want him to use zenda for just two hours a day you can just go ahead and set the limit also but if you don't want him to use whatsapp at all or you don't want him to use facebook at all you can still go right ahead and set the limit or block him entirely from using facebook or whatsapp or whatever apps you know you want him to use so let's say you don't actually want him to use the google chrome browser so you can actually click on that and then turn it off and then to say change your question that means that he can no longer access the google chrome browser what if you also want to manage permissions you can turn that on and then click on permissions turn off the storage turn off the location turn off anything that you want to turn off on this device so that's it for his apps. But what if you actually want to restrict your child from certain websites or applications? All you have to do is to go to the manage settings that you have there. Um, if it's on Google Play or if it's on YouTube, if it's on Chrome, for example, or Google Search. In this case, I'm going to put in the Google Chrome. So you see that you can actually try to block explicit sites from him for your child. So let's say uh, manage sites. So blocked. Click on blocks. So if you have any website in particular that you don't want your child to visit, you can just add the website here. Just copy the URL, click on the website, and then click on OK. For now, I don't have any sites. I'm just going to go past this. But if you have, put the website there and click on save. Now, if you have more than one website, it actually let you allow, it actually allow you to imprint more than one website so after you must have imprinted all of the motion that you don't want your child to be able to access just click on save and okay it's take you back so because i don't have anything i'm just going to go back now there's this one right here that says only allow approved sites so you can customize your own list and approve requests you know from your child so i'm going to manage sites and i'm going to click on uh, blocked 
add any site you don't want your child to visit so if you have another site just like we did before click on it click on save you can add more than one and just click on ok to continue so that's all for google chrome now you can also do the same for google play you would have to click on google play it said require approval for all content on the google play so i'm going to click on that and then after we must have done that it said set purchase approvals note that previous downloads and content shared through family library won't require approval so for your child when using family payment method you want to approve the purchase of all content so if you want to do that press ok if you want to only approve all purchase using the family payment method press click on that one if you want to approve the payment the purchase of only in app purchases click on that if you don't want any approval at all your child can go ahead and do anything they want then click on no approval required so i know you must have done that if you still want more account info click on that to show you the name of the account info your child how old he is um control settings for signing in so let's click that you ask me every time you know so your child can sign in anytime that he wants if you want that click on that if you don't want if you say one no let your child sign in without you then click on that too the other thing you can set is his location so if you want to set up location so get peace of mind knowing where your child is with his device you can set that up it says ellos device location setting on his signed in android devices will be turned on and his location will be shared with parents unless you turn it off so if you want to know that turn it on and you'll be able to know where your child is at every point in time so with this app you can also know you know all the apps that your child has used in a day so for example now they said that your child that he hasn't used any apps today that once he does the app activity will be reported here so you can get details of everything he did using that app you know what website he went to or what he actually did with the website whatever he did with that app it will definitely show here so he said location not fine that your child may be offline so just go ahead if he says this go ahead turn on the location on your child's device and you get his location wherever he is you can also set up screen time for your kid so let's try and set this up um it says here on mondays we'll be allowed to use the phone for three hours on tuesday three hours and then on saturday no limit that means that he has access to his phone 24 7 there's no limit to how often he can use his phone that day but if you don't want that you want to set a limit you can also impute that and and that's fine so if you want to change the setting that means you want him to use it for lower you can actually click on that day and either reduce it or increase it so if you wanted to use the app on monday for two hours you can click on two hours and you'll be able to use um you'll be able to use it for only two hours okay so just do the same for anything that you want so if you also want to set bedtime for your kids click on bedtime you will need to edit it let's say for example your child's phone is going to be locked from 9 o'clock to 7 o'clock a.m. So let's say 9, 9 p.m. 7 o'clock p.m. That means that from 10, 11, 12, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., that phone is not going to be accessible to your child. So that means that he has to sleep. The child, the phone is not going to be functional. But anything, let's say 701, 702, yes, that means that your child can use his phone. So you can do that for each and every one of them. If you want bedtime to be 10 o'clock to 6 a.m., you want it to be 6 a.m. to Whatever you want, whatever works for you, just put it there so that your child will be able to have access or not have access to his phone within certain times of the day. So that's all. When you're done, click on save and that will be updated and just go back. So you can see here, because I clicked on the save, you see that um, his phone is unlocked. But if you really want to lock his phone immediately, like for example, your child did something wrong, you want to punish him to not use his phone, you can actually just click on lock now and your child's device is actually going to be locked. So it said locked until 6 o'clock. So you can see now that it actually says here time for a break. So that means that your child cannot actually access his phone until 6 o'clock. But emergency calls are still going to be allowed. So if it's, if it's an emergency or you set up the emergency number and they call, they will have access to answer those calls because it's an emergency. So if you don't want that, just click on unlock and your child's device is going to be unlocked. Okay. As you can see, it's actually unlocked. 
okay so that's what you can do with the google family link so just go ahead update his location so you can find him wherever he is set up his bedtime look at the app that he has on his phone restrict him from using certain websites or certain links just set up all of all that and you'll be fine all right i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i did if you're going to be using the google family link please leave a comment and don't forget to tell us whether or not this tutorial was easy to follow Remember that one of the ways to engage your kids productively on screen is by channeling their energy into something productive. Your kids can learn how to create their own games, animations, mobile apps and lots more here at Niger Cookies Academy. Call or watch the number shown on your screen for more details. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell so you get to know once we post more videos like this. Bye!